Hey, this is a little review of a in-game NFL showdown matchup uh, that I recently did. The game was between the Washington football team and the Dallas Cowboys. Uh, if you're not familiar with in-game, it's when you uh, – your showdown matchup is for, like, the second half. This was for the second half of that game. Uh, you have up until around halftime to make your picks, <clears throat> so you have enough time to evaluate the game and make some very educated picks based on what you've seen in the first quarter. If you know football, basketball, or whatever, uh, I like doing these in basketball and football. This is my third outright win between basketball and football in the last uh, two months. Uh, the other two wins coming in uh, basketball. So this contest right here had a, it's a single entry contest, uh, 500, 500 entries, uh, 212 positions paid. Uh, I like single entry, a thousand and under entries. Those are the kind of contests I like to enter. Uh, I feel I'm as good as any thousand people wherever playing uh, DFS on a single entry uh contest so i like those and those have paid off for me in the past so let's get right into this contest um for the captain i chose the cowboys uh the cowboys defense had played well the first half they are so deep i didn't think their defense would change even in the second half even if they went to uh uh reserve players and, and as you see they got two sacks one defensive touchdown one punt block in the second half of the game so they gave me 16 fantasy points at the captain position. Uh, for the quarterback, I chose uh, Allen. I figured he would come in and replace the starting quarterback for Washington, but they Washington did leave uh, Heineke in there for most of the third quarter. But when Allen came in, he gave us uh, one passing TD, 67 passing yards. That's very good for a little over a quarter's worth of work. I'll take that any day at any time. And if you watch Dallas, you know uh, Dallas is going to take every chance they can to get Dak out the game so he doesn't get hurt. And Cooper Rush came in like the middle of the third quarter, one pass in TD for 70 yards, and that was to Turner, uh, who had one reception TD and 70 reception yards. Uh, that was the big play, and Turner was the guy who gave me the majority of my other of my fantasy points. Uh which really helped me out a lot. I had Cedric Wilson. I figured he would get some touches. Uh, he's their fourth, fifth receiver, but he just didn't get any uh, targets during the late third quarter and the fourth quarter. Uh, the true gamble that I took was uh, the running back, Clement. Um, he's their third. He's Dallas's third running back. Uh, Zeke and Pollard both banged up. I was just hoping that they pulled him out in the uh, in the second half. They had kind of pulled Zeke uh, really first half, and Pollard was getting most of the work. And even until the middle of the third quarter, late third quarter, Pollard was still getting the work. You know, I thought Pollard could probably beat me if he scored a touchdown or something like that. Uh, but they eventually pulled Pollard, and Clement came in and got 18 rushing yards. So this lineup right here, we were able to win it outright. Um, out of 500 people based, you know, a little luck. Uh, this is not pretty. Uh, no stars in there. Uh, just kind of just this line was picked based on evaluation of what was going on in the game. The game was a blowout. If Washington would have been able to move the ball those first couple of series in the third quarter, this lineup probably wouldn't have won because Washington football team probably would have left their starters in there and you would have had some other players emerge that would beat this lineup. Uh, but luckily, the Dallas Cowboy defense stood up and did what they were supposed to do. And by the middle of the third quarter, both teams had basically conceded and started putting in their reserve players. So, um, hey, just wanted to share this. this is an ugly win, but it's a fun win to me, you know, especially if you enjoy watching football. You can watch a game and really be strategizing for the second half of the game. And you got a little uh, skin in the game. So I had a little skin in the game and it paid off. So, you know, my tips on this is just pay attention to the game. Watch the game. Go with your gut. You know, your gut not going to always be right, but sometimes it will be. So use your knowledge and your gut and, you know, you can uh, 
you know, have some success at uh, these in in game showdown matchups. Hey, I like them. So hey, that's all I have for today. Until the next video, peace. <laughs>